during rainfall. These are two of the vehicles on which we use to come into uh, the campground. They have to be four by four, otherwise they will find themselves stuck many times on the way there. This is a part of the catch. We have a freezer, two freezer, and a huge ice bucket, all of which are filled with fishes, animals, Coming in the background is another huge freezer carried by Mike and Sari. Again, have a look at some of the trees and the towering heights as they reach for the sky. Once again, you can see the camp in the background on the banks of the Demerara River. It is not always easy traveling and there are portions of the path which will have tremendous potholes. And unless there is a 4x4, four four, many vehicles can be stuck in the pathway. Occasionally, they are dilapidated bridges uh, that crosses small creeks and if the drivers are not skillful a vehicle can end up in the ditch which will be many many hours from the nearest civilized form of assistance. Uh, this is an area that is not even uh, populated by Amerindians. Uh, the nearest settlement from this landing may be uh, Falls, but the Amerindians uh, come up here with boats to do their fishing and hunting. This to give you an idea of what the tree looks like coming out of the bush. There is a 4x4 four four driven and stalling coming up to the guys on top. Driven by Michael. Just in front of the truck. Going up about 150 feet straight overhead. I think it's branching. I don't know if it's just gone in here. Today's on Monday, no? Yeah. Monday day what? Uh, the hugs are just cross here. Um, the trucks about the place. I'm not sure. Oh, what they put there? Got easy hack foot. And soon we're gonna invent a video. We're gonna make you smell the hag. <laughs> Maybe showing it to you. Anyhow, this how the hag is dig up the road. Alright, uh, this how it's dig up all over. But it's dig up sometimes for miles. I'll hear dig up. Yes, you know. You got to talk to me, man. Yes. This is a catch uh, is, uh, two nights and two days. So it's uh, close to 
songs with the video. Much more than that over there in uh, I don't want to hear. She is a piranha, tiger fish. Haiwata? Haimara. Haimara. Alright, this one is Tibikuri. Alright, this one is Tibikuri. This is Haimara. Like this one. The one weighs about 25 pounds. That is a pure right there. This one here. Uh, let me go directly on a big. That small fish there. Alright, this is a puree. This puree is about, I would say this is about an 8 pound puree. Um, this is katabak. The katabak there and there's a puree next to it. And there's a type of fish. Like the puree still eating this guy inside there, you know? <laughs> puree was still eating this katabak. <laughs> Alright, well this is about the type of fish we got. We got. And... All right, this is the real stuff. This deer and lava. Deer, lava, that's it. And um, uh, yeah, we got some birds here. here. All right, there's the lava with this, still with this, still with the um, four on. And we got. Um, I can't even remember Pauice. this. Yeah, you got Pawishin, you got Anora. Korean, you got Marudi, yeah. and you got. Um, Marudi, the big one? No, Marudi under here, watch it there. Oh. The red foot. This is the Guyanese Torki. This is deer head. Alright, there's the folks who went. Let me come out to the sun so we can get them good. <laughs> this is at the back, Uncle Doki there, Brian, Rat, yeah, Uncle. <laughs> and this is the big one to come in, you know? Yeah, this is the big one, too. Um... And the back again, this is the trucks we went with, battery holding language. And this is a board we call Bato, too. Well, what? 